Today I will show you what the dodge and burn tools are and how to use them creatively in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today everything will be about dodging and burning. And what the dodge and burn tools are, they are basically set of creative tools in Photoshop to make your life more complicated. Now I'm just kidding, it's really great tools in Photoshop to make your subject pop up a little bit, to add some tridimensionality to your images. You first what you need is to understand how to use them and how to add those 3D effect with those tools. All right. The dodge tool is for brightening the image, the burn tool is for darkening the image. Let's jump into Photoshop and let's talk about that a little bit more on some example. We have a blank piece of paper here and we will make one empty layer here with 100% opacity brush and 50% gray color. Let's make one circle here like so nice and we will now duplicate this with control command j two times we will have three circles for three different method of dodging and burning okay guys the first and obvious way to dodge and burn is to use default dodge and burn tools it's those tools here as you can see this is dodge tool and this is burn tool the dodge tool is for making the image brighter the dodge tool has this range here and the burn tool it has the same menu here the range is for shadows midtones and highlights do you want to burn shadows midtones or highlights in this case we will use midtones because this gray 50 percent gray color it's basically midtones and we can choose the exposure it's the sensitivity of how much uh, effect we want to apply with one stroke and now i want to show you how to transform this flat 2d circle to 3d ball all right let's use dodge tool here and make this part a little bit brighter okay like so and then we can use burn tool and make this part a little bit darker and as you can notice here the black colors are making the impression that the object is a little bit more deeper in the scene it's more far away from the uh, viewers eyes and the white color the brighter color it's more towards us it's more like in the scene more 3d and we need to constantly change the tools or we can press and hold alt key to change the tools with for example this is the burn tool and if i press or hold i press and hold alt, alt or option key okay then i will use dodge tool and when I release Alter Option key, I will use Burn tool. All right, and now we made one interesting 3D ball. It's completely different than this 2D circle. Okay, that's one method of dodging and burning. It's default method, and I personally don't like it and don't use the, that method ever. Okay, the second method is to make a new layer. Go to Edit here and fill with 50% gray color and then just put it in overlay or soft light blending mode all those blending mo modes except the hard mix are basically making this 50% gray color invisible okay let's put in soft light and clip it with ultra option key and press between those two layers clip it to this circle on the left and now we will use the brush let's press d on the keyboard to uh, make uh, the default colors for a brush okay and we will use black and white colors to do the same thing to dodge and to burn the layer okay let's use maybe 10 or 15 percent of best let's use 10 one on a keyboard for 10 and make this we need really soft brush and make this part darker like so and with x we can swipe the colors and make this part brighter nice and we can achieve the same oops sorry the same result as before this method it's for me a little bit better and faster than the obvious dodge and burn method here that we did before but 
you can choose of course your own style it's doing the same thing in this case all right as you can see here we have another ball and it's done with completely different method all right now i will show you the third and my favorite method of course there are a lot of more method to dodge and burn but today i will show you these three methods okay the third one it's with curves adjustment layers let's go to the third ball here and load curve adjustment layer the benefit of this method is you can choose the maximum amount of dodging and maximum amount of burning here with this curve of course you can use the levels to and other adjustment layers etc etc but now we will stick with this okay let's choose the maximum amount of dodging something like so all right and invert this layer mask with control command i and make another curve adjustment layer and choose the maximum amount of dodging something like so and control command i again invert this let's name this d for dodging and b for burning just to not be confused all right and now we will use white brush white brush and something around maybe 10 percent opacity and do the same thing like before but i will make something a little bit different let's let's use first 30 percent opacity and make this part brighter much brighter to make the impression that uh, here is some backlight on this ball something like so i will do this pretty fast because i want to save time here okay like so and now i will use black color and just burn this maybe with 20 percent opacity sorry another layer uh, this is the burn layer okay and 20% opacity then change to 10 again and make this like it's dark black ball and it has a light from the front etc etc and we just made another third ball completely different than those two balls all right, guys, I just show you three completely different methods to use dodge and burn tools in Photoshop. Choose your preferred method and practice have fun. Now let's jump back into Photoshop and use dodge and burn tool on this image on a human face. All right, I will choose my favorite method is the curves because I can choose the maximum amount of dodging. For example, I don't want this because my uh, model will be burned. I will lose details in highlights and I will choose for example this amount of dodging all right and the, let me see burning maybe this amount of burning all right let's name this dodge and this burn and now as I already show you use brush white brush for revealing black brush for hiding and let me show you how you can make the eyes pop a little bit more in the 3d all right let's use maybe five percent opacity really soft brush and just paint with the white color you make some things go more out of the the paper out of the image and with the black brush you make like holes like you're pushing that part more into the into the image All right let's play with some details here like so and just swap between dodge and burn and just paint this let me show you before and after before and after you see how the eye pop a little bit more into 3d let's use the same thing on this side here let's make this more white more towards to us and then let's use black color and make this part a little bit deeper more black we can make this more black and we can play with the details of course when you're doing dodging and burning thing in photoshop please take your time it's a really powerful way but it takes time to make something mm, perfect to make something more pop more stand out from the 2d plane 
Okay, and let me show you now before and after, before and after. Of course, you can use that on this scarf here, for example, you can straighten this uh, wrinkle here with white color because the white color will bring that detail up toward to us and the black color it's making like it's it's pushing that details more in the in the scene okay let's just use white color and just iron this a little bit change the whoops change the opacity and play with with that as you can see here i just made let me see before and after i just straightened this scarf a little bit just iron it okay we can add some details to here here a little bit more lights here or some lights here we can darken maybe this part here and more and emphasize the nose here this is just for example and it's really quick and fast thing to do we can maybe with a 10 percent opacity add a little bit black here like so and here okay or we can brighten this part here Oof, it's too much maybe with three percent opacity you can do these wrinkles if you have time if you don't want this without losing your skin texture but we will not do that now just to brighten this part just a little bit okay and like so and let me show you now let me show you now before and after before and after only with dodging and burning really really great result all right guys we are basically done for today you just saw how we can use dodge and burn tool in photoshop creatively this is really just small amount of application of dodge and burn tool in photoshop you can really achieve a lot of great results using dodge and burn tool in photoshop but please before you start using it please think about that understand the point of dodging and burning think what the bright color is doing to the image what the dark color it color is doing to the image and then you can really achieve great results if you have any questions at all regarding to this episode please ask them in a the comment below i will be glad to answer them and what is your favorite method of dodging and burning please write me down in the comments i would love to hear that from you See you next week in the next episode. Bye bye. The white color is for dodging and the bright color is for burning. <laughs> Not the bright color. The black color is for burning, but why would you burn your images? The black color is for darkening the image and white color is for lightening the image. <laughs> <laughs>